There you are. Look at you. There you go. I know I can hear outside. It's the world's largest, loudest, loudest car phone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hi. Yes, I know. We're just waiting. We're just having a little minute. Yeah, we will. It's okay. Nobody here yet. Yeah? That's all right. I know. And you. It was good, isn't it? Right, you better go so Granddad can do some work and teach people how to finger pick. Okay? I'll see you later. Say bye byes. Say bye bye. Say bye byes. Come on then. Hot buddy. There we go. Good morning. Okay? Watch your knuckles. There we go. There we go. Granddad's duties. Good morning. And if you're late, shame on you because you just missed the grandson. Never mind. Uh, we shouldn't be doing that. We're not doing that today. We should be doing... So there we are. Welcome to Ukulele Rocks live stream. I've got the t-shirt on today. Got a bit of branding going on. My name's Mr. C. Um, we are going today is called Whip Pick Away. That's the name of our workshop today. We're going to have a gentle introduction, a little look into finger picking. Finger picking, by definition, is when instead of playing chords and strumming down all the strings, you play a uh, pick strings individually. Now, it can just be as simple as doing two. Two strings, or maybe three strings. Three rattly strings. Or, as we're going to look at today, just making sure I'm actually turned on, we're going to look at a finger picking all four strings. As I challenge today. So, we're going to start off with a very classical guitar kind of point of view with it called Pima, P-I-M-A, which is how classical guitarists notate their fingers for finger picking. And then we're going to come away from that a little bit because it's a little bit heavy. It is a little bit heavy for us at Ukulele Rocks. And we're going to teach a, um, a simpler way of doing finger picking, just using what we call them when we're teaching with the children. We call them crabby claws. I like the idea of having crabby claws about just using your thumb and your first finger. And we can also progress onto what we call double crabby claws, which is our thumb and finger number one and finger number two. And then we're gonna have a look at some picking patterns and finishing up with a little bit of knocking on heaven's door, which has only got four chords. If only I could remember them in the right order, but not to panic. It's a very noisy day here at Perrix Towers. What's going on now, sir? Oh, you know what it is, don't you? It's Tuesday. So what happens on a Tuesday at Perrex Towers? The bin men. Bin men are here. Well done, boys. Thank you very much. All right. So let's get going anyhow. Hope you got your ukuleles. Hope we're in tune. Mine's in tune. Oh, here's the bin lorry. It's a tambourine. Oh, it's all happening down here. Okay, so first of all, let's get on to the really sort of, not rigid, but the classical approach to finger picking, which is called P-I-M-A. And P-I-M-A, I had to look this up because I keep forgetting some of them, is pulga indis medio and annula. He said, looking at his cheat sheets down there. Or oh, your thumb your index, your middle finger, and your ring finger. Now, the idea of this is, is that different fingers get different tones, but you don't always want that. You want a kind of measured amount to your finger picking. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to allocate a string to each of our fingers. So the thumb is going to go on the G. Our first finger is going to go on the C second finger on the E, and third finger on the A. Now, when we're putting our fingers down, the other thing to notice is the thumb slightly leads, I wonder the best way of showing you, ahead of the other fingers. 
don't want your fingers to be ahead of your thumb. You also don't want your fingers and thumbs to be pinching on top of each other. So I have a kind of looking down at mine, I've got a kind of nice diagonal line that starts at my thumb and goes through my fingers to go all the way down onto my strings. And all I'm going to do, first of all, is very simple. I'm going to pick each finger one at a time. And I'm going to concentrate and listen to try and get an evenness of sound. Now, for me, my third finger is pretty weak, I've got to say. I'm not used to finger picking my third finger. More about that in a moment. But so for me, I've got to be careful. I've got to really listen. So remember, thumb on the G, first finger on the C, second finger on the E, third finger on the A. And just pick down from your thumb going downwards. There's lots of different ways to finger pick and lots of different patterns. So let's reverse it. Let's pick up the strings, starting with the third finger. Here we go. There we go. So reversing back up it. A M I P. There we go. Still remembering. Very simple. We don't want any of that thumb of the finger above each other. Nice diagonal sort of shape to it. All right. So while we're just working on that, we can turn it into a little bit of a tune and make it a little bit more interesting with our Pima picking pattern, our thumb, our first index, our middle finger, and then our, our ring finger, annular. It's a great word, isn't it? Annular. Angua. I do um, an African song called Hey Angua. I like doing that. That's was really good. So what we're going to do to make it very, very simple, all we're going to do is a bit like the chill out walk. If you're familiar with that, we're going to start with the chord of C. We're going to pick back to our second finger, pick back to our first finger, pick back to the open strings. Very simple. So we're going to set our PIMA up, set our fingers up, thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger. And what we're going to do for this, it sounds nice if we pick up. So we're going to start the picking on our third finger to go third, second, first, thumb. A, M, I, P. So confusing. And we're going to do it once, oh, do it twice, sorry, do it twice, and then we're going to change your finger. So here's your quick demonstration. We're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two. Lift up. Simple as. So let's try that. Let's try that together. We're going to do a bit slower than that, I think. And I must sit still. I'm getting quite chilled with my bad self. Oh, I just feel like, you know, it's ever so relaxing. I like it. <laughs> let's try now. All right. So picking up a little slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, there we go. Do it each section twice. Now, that sort of sound was me being a bit lazy with my right hand, I have to say, because when you do this finger picking, you do end up kind of hovering over the strings. It's not like any of the other techniques where perhaps you can have an anchor point of a little finger. You do actually kind of hover over the strings. So it is a bit interesting. Let's try that one more time. Let's try that one more time. So our Pima fingering again, our thumb, index, middle finger, and annular, our ring finger, each get their own string. And let's pick up from, well, let's not pick up. 
let's try it. We're trying things out. Let's turn it around. This time, instead of going up from your third finger, let's go down through the string from your thumb. So it should go... But a little slower. One, two, three, four. One, two... Second finger. Sit still, man. So there we are. Now, I'm going to move away from that for a moment. So that's our classical approach, the P-I-M-A. A. There's a little screen back here. I'm really trying to get this to work, but it's not the best, I've got to say. Um, if I had a nice fancy sponsored by web camera, I could link it up to some lovely software and I could put it on your screen. I haven't got a nice fancy camera. I've got the camera built into the laptop. I'm sorry. You know, what can you do? But let's move on. Um, I spoke to my friend, Mr. Bud, Daniel Bud, Dan Bud, who runs a ukulele jam. Uh, dot co. I always get his website wrong. Look up Ukulele Jam on Facebook. It's there, and also he, funkypunkmusic.org.uk, and he does wonderful live streams. A bit more advanced than this. Got fantastic songbooks. You've got to know a few chords. Really worthwhile joining in with him. But the other day he was talking about finger picking, and he taught it exactly the same way as I'm about to teach it now. Like it even nicked my idea. He hadn't. He hadn't. But this is a piece called Inside Outside. Now, I do have a little thingy over here. Does that help? Yes, it does. Good. Now, oh, look at that. No use whatsoever. Massive screen glare. It's because all the lights change coming in here. I don't know. I don't know. I'll show you anyhow. Inside Outside has got four chords in it that we need just for the music part of it. Let's learn those four chords first of all. It starts off with the open strings. A minor 7, C6. Okay. Make sure you got that one. This is just the chords we're going to need. Then I'm going to show you how we're going to approach the finger picking. Then you put your first finger on string number two, which I actually looked up, which apparently said D minor 11. But you knew that. So I just needed to check it. There we are. D minor 11. It's one of those chords given a very complicated name. Very simple to play. Just sounds great. Love it. And then also we're going to add our second finger onto the A string in the second space. And do you know what that chord's called? No, me neither. Because I looked it up. The same chord finder that I looked up D minor 11 on just went, what? <laughs> it gave me a question mark when I looked this up. So I figured it's kind of, what did I write down? A G7 plus four, if you want to be really excited about it. Okay. And then we've got to finish with our chord C. So our four chords, open strings. First finger on the second string. Second finger on the first string. Which sounds quite natural. Chord of C. Okay? Simple as those. Open. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. Now, this piece is called Inside Outside, and it's this time when we're going to change technique. We're no longer going to look at our PIMA, our P-I-M-A technique. We're going to look at my... Wonderful. I love teaching this. Crabby claws. We're going to use our thumb and our first finger. And it's called inside outside because we're going to start off with the inside strings. Here we are. So we're going to put our thumb on the C string and a first finger on the E string. But again, really important. Don't put your fingers in a pinching. How can I show that? Down there. Don't put them one on top of each other in a pinching motion we're not after this pulling the strings up squashing them together we want the thumb to lead get your thumb slightly ahead of your first finger curl your around so that even if you had to play them both together they don't your fingers don't foul each other it just makes it a clearer sound and you're going to lead with your thumb so you're going to play the c in side thumb, first finger. When you've done that, it's called inside-outside. Hang on a minute. 
you've done the inside strings. Guess what you do now? Yep. The outside strings. So you're going to move to the outside strings inside, outside. And as always on ukulele rocks, let's teach our fingers it first before we need any sound. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Got the hang? Right, that's what it sounds like. Just on the open strings and dead simple, dead slow. One, two, offs we go. Uh, inside, outside, inside, outside. Let's just try that a little bit of a minute or two. Keeping that thumb and first finger away from each other. We don't want them squashing over and getting in each other's way. Not at all. Get the pattern right. Always helps. And there we go. And again, we are kind of floating with these crabby claws. If you're really finding that difficult, not a problem. You could use an anchor point of a little finger. You could put your finger on to help support your hand. Inside, out, side, inside. If you'd like to do that and it just stays there, I can show you that. Just supporting your hand above the strings. That might help. So let's try and put that inside, outside, crabby claws technique together with our four chords open strings first finger add the second finger chord of C open strings first finger add the second finger chord of C okay all right let's try it inside outside and we're going to do each chord twice in case you hadn't got the idea each pattern twice one two slowly and in side out side First finger down, in, side, out, side. Second finger down, in, side, out, side. Call to C. Side, out, side, in, side, out, side. And you can finish with the call to C. All right, so that's how inside, outside works. Let's try it. And this time a little less brothering for me, because you know the chords now. Open strings, first finger, second finger, chord of C. Okay, inside, outside with your thumb and your first finger. Maybe you're even curling that first finger around a little bit. Either way, make sure that thumb's leading. All right, let's try it. One, two, three, four. Inside, outside, inside. First finger. Second finger. Chord of C. Let's repeat the whole lot. There we go. Inside, outside. It's available on the website. Inside, outside is, I'm just checking because I've just suddenly forgotten. Yep, it's on the ukulelerocks.co.uk. You can find Inside, Outside. And there's a nice little backing track that goes along with it as well. I believe it's a little bit faster than we played it, but nothing that will worry us too much. Let's say some good mornings. Good morning to Roger. Roger left us a nice comment. Thank you very much. Good morning. Sorry you were two minutes late. You were two minutes late. I expect a letter from your mother next time. And you missed Regan. I oh, missed the grandson. Yes, I was on granddad duties. You don't want to know my... I do not know why. Oh, you don't know, want to know why. No, it was very messy. Wasn't good, I'm afraid. Anyhow, thank you, Roger, checking in. I'm glad you did. It's nice to see you. And I've got more people watching. Do check in. Do say hello, and I can give you a shout-out and see where you're from and how you're doing and how you're finding it all. Now, we're going to move on. A little bit now to um, a bigger song. Uh, yeah, a real big song. This is Knocking on Heaven's Door. Now, Knocking on Heaven, uh, Knocking, 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 Teeth in again. Knocking on Heaven's Door is on the advanced website, ukulele rocks more.co.uk. Um, 
Well, I haven't got T-shirts with ukulele rocks more. I should have them, shouldn't I? That might be an idea. Um, you, knocking on Heaven's Door isn't too tricky uh, a, a piece. You've got four chords in it. You have a chord of G, chord of D, and a chord of A minor. And then it repeats chord of G, chord of D, chord of C. So it always goes G, D, A minor, or G, D, C. G, D, A minor, G, D, C. So you'd think it's the easiest thing in the world. Every time I gig this, every time I have to play this, I always get the A minor and the C the wrong way around. I guarantee I'm going to do it today. Guarantee. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to finger pick it. It's rather nice if you finger pick the verse and kind of strum into the chorus. I really like the sort of. You know, um, I'm afraid I'm a bit led, but I know this might be a bit of travesty for some of you. I'm a bit led by the Guns N' Roses version. I've always enjoyed the Guns N' Roses version. I'm sorry, pop, unpopular opinion coming up. As I'm not a huge Beatles fan, I am not a Bob Dylan fan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's FTW for? For the win, Bob D For the win, Really? Bob Dylan for the win, Roger. Really? Is that what FTW means? What an amazing Americanism from you, sir. I don't know. So, finger picking the verses. Now, there's two ways you can finger pick the verse, and we're going to try the, the tricky word. We're going to go back to our P-I-M-A, our Pima pattern. And I found that when I was practicing this before it, if I do the Pima pattern, and then I do an ordinary sort of hop, skip and a jump with my thumb, I get two different picking patterns. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to do the posh pima with our thumb, first finger, second finger and our third finger. And quick shout out. Good morning, Heidi. Good morning, Ernie. Good to see you last night. Well played, both of you. That's very good. I'm glad you know this song. This would be good to do it. I wonder if you can finger pick it using it all those fingers as well, Mr. Ernie. I don't know. He's a talented young gentleman. I think he probably will be able to do this. So the pattern I'm going to use for this is we're going to pick up through our fingers, back down, and our thumb and our first finger. Up through our fingers, back down, thumb and our first finger. Start that pattern again. So that's our basic finger pattern, finger picking, finger picking pattern. Good grief, finger picking pattern. Try that. Thumb, first finger, second finger, third, second, first, thumb, first. Okay, you shouldn't really say that. It's very bad teaching practice to call this these fingers by your first. This is why they were named P-I-M-A, because the idea was to get away from fingering numbers needed for your left hand. So I should be better, shouldn't I? Never mind. Thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, thumb, index. It's hard work. And what we're going to do, we're going to do that pattern to work through our chords very steadily. So let's try it. Remember, G, D, A minor, G, D, and C. Let's try that. Okay. Good luck, everybody. I don't think this is very easy. So good luck with this. Finger picking through it. One, two, three, and four, and one. Do that twice. Back to G. D. C. There we go. Let's catch our breath. Um, Ernie and Heidi say, you missed the PIMA. What's it stand for? PIMA, what's it stands for? It stands, you're going to make me remember it again, aren't you? Um, it's a way of notating your thumb, your first finger, your second finger, and your third finger called pulgar. 
Indis, Medial, Medio, Medio, and Annular. Annular, ironically, is the only one I can remember. Your thumb, your index, your middle finger, and your ring finger. Pulgar, Indis, Medio, Annular. Very catchy. It's a classical guitar technique, Heidi and Ernie, we were talking about it. Anyhow, so there's that one to do. Let's have a little go through and see if we can get some of this song into it as well. Okay. And I've got a real, I don't like launching into songs. I always like a little bit of introduction. So what we'll do is we'll have a little bit of an introduction on that G chord. And maybe we'll do that G chord twice and then launch into the song. Again, I've downloaded my copy from the website. Um, for not knocking on heaven's door. So you can do the same if you wanted to. But for the moment, let's try the finger picking. G, D, A minor, G, D, chord of C. Here we go. Thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, all the fingers down. Not an easy way of doing it, but we're going to have a go. One, two, introduction on the G. Here we go, verse one. Mama, take this badge from me. I can't use it anymore It's getting dark, too dark to see Let's change the chip picking pattern Feels like I'm knocking on heaven's door now, before we go crashing into the chorus, let's address the picking pattern that suddenly changed. Yes. Because now we only need that longer picking pattern at the end of the phrase, at the end of the line. So the G and the D, my apologies, we're only picking through our fingers. Then the longer finger pattern, picking pattern. Pick through our fingers. Here we go. Longer pattern. Oh, good. I'm glad we got that side out. So the G and the D, we're just picking through our fingers. Thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger. Here we go. Da, da, ya, D, two, ya, da. There we go. And the longer pattern. That's it. There we go. Good, good. Glad we got that sorted out. Right. After that little practice, let's have a proper go. One, two, introduction, here we go, and change the pattern for the introduction as well. Here we go. All right. Mama, take this badge from me. I can't use it anymore. Getting dark, too dark to see Feels like I'm knocking on heaven's door oh, 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 oh. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door
knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Finish on the right chord, man. There we go. So it's. I was just thinking through it when I'm playing it. I'm getting a bit di distracted as well. But I must tell you, there are lots and lots and lots and lots of different ways to finger pick. Lots of different patterns, all for the same songs. I think normally if I was playing that song and I wasn't concentrating on teaching a technique to go with it, I'm not sure I would use that Pima technique. I'm not sure I'd use the thumb and the, the first finger, second finger, third finger. I do a lot of um double crabby claws if you like and i make my thumb bounce around like a guitarist would now a guitarist when they're using this finger picking style a lot of the time is they'll get their thumbs to look after the metal strings so on a six string instrument that'll be the three uh, uh strings at the top and their index middle and ring finger to look after the three nylon strings at the bottom so you do find your thumb does hop around a little bit so if we do it with this. Mine's sort of hopping off the G onto the C. And I use my first two fingers to pick away at the E and A. But this is a whole different workshop to have a look at. Today, we're just giving you a little taste. And also, also the thing about picking through them, as you get more confident, I suppose really that's kind of like a crotchet that's on the beat going through. And a lot of the time, you would maybe finger pick at a quaver pace, a quaver speed, or so half notes. And that's that longer figure pattern. That's where I went to come from. All, all a little bit of practice. And it's also finding your own way, finding out what you like to do. Even the inside, you could even use your inside outside technique. If you really want to, it doesn't sound as good, I don't think. I think it sounds as good as the Pima. I quite like doing the Pima technique. But at least, like we said today, today was a gentle introduction. So there's a little bit of a gentle introduction to finger picking. We started off the whole of the hour getting used to our P-I-M-A. Uh, pull, I'm going to look it up again. Pulga, Pulga, Indus, Medial and Annular. Um, P I M A, our uh, thumb, index, middle, and ring finger, and just working through the strings, going down from the thumb, just walked our fingers backwards, and also we reversed it, so picking up that A string first. And again, make them up for yourself. All these different patterns, you can go down. I know. And I'm doubling my thumb at the bottom. I don't know. You make it up. It makes it sound nice. We moved on to Inside Outside. Inside Outside is on Ukulele Rocks. Yes, the Ukulele Rocks more. I keep getting considered there's a, a more advanced version of Inside Outside that does Pima fingering as well, finger picking as well. If you check that out, that's on the more, the more, the advanced website. We looked at the Inside Outside technique of just using what we call crabby claws on the Inside Outside strings. And then finally, we got back to our Pima technique at a bit of a slower pace for knocking on heaven's door. that longer pick at the end and leading from our thumb so there we go these are um, a bit more challenging these workshops so i hope today it's giving you a little bit of an insight a little bit of a start to have a look at finger picking if you need to know anything else please do get in touch through the website there's the full contact details down there um not an easy thing 
have a practice at it. I'm still not very happy using my third finger, and I've been playing this for quite a few, quite a few years now, trying to finger pick like this, this more traditional style. And I'm not as happy using my third finger. And really, strictly speaking, if I was going to be gigging or finger picking any piece at all. Even one as busy as that. I still wouldn't use my third finger, I have to say. But it's given you an insight into it today. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you didn't catch us at the start, I suggest you rewind and see our special guest at the start. When it gets back on, it was worth watching. Uh, good to see you. Got through that. Well done. A lot of concentration tomorrow. I'm going for a quiet lie down in a dark room now. Roger, Heidi, thank you for your comments. It's nice to know that people are joining in and taking part. Do appreciate it. And I'll see you. There is a repeat of this if you'd like some extra practice on Friday this week. Not Thursday. Go and running on Friday this week. So if you'd like to check back in, come and see us then. Have a second go at it. See if it gets any better. Practice it between now and then. If you want to know where the links are, get in touch and I'll put the links back up um, on, on Facebook or something similar so you can find everything. Till now, have a great rest of the day. Ta-ra!